So the optimum run time. That's kind of a loaded question. Obviously, the, the longer the better. When we make it a shorter cycle, that's when problems start happening. The pump heats up, the starting components heat up, everything gets more wear. So there's no established optimum runtime. Short cycling says to be avoided. 15 to 20 cycles per hour is, is not good. If you call in here and ask us, depending on the pumps, we'll probably tell you that we like to suggest no more than six to 10 starts per hour. So we kind of want to figure that in with our basin, that we have enough volume there that this pump isn't going to be called to come on constantly. We don't want it shutting off, turning back on, shutting off, turning back on. We want to get a good long run time out of it. So we say a minimum target designed for a one minute cycle or longer. And again, if we can get a, a longer run time and then give it a good break, like here it says one minute run with five minute break, that'd be great. For a duplex system, we might do 10 starts per hour. The next bullet point says a long cycle time, even continuous operation is acceptable as long as the pump is designed for this type of service. Typically, none of our pumps are designed for continuous operation, I'll say. We do have some, but for the most part, we try to avoid that. Um, we want our pumps to run. We want to give them a break to cool off and then let them come on and run again. And there's a note there at the bottom that grinder pumps are intermittent duty pumps, um, typically not used in applications having long operating cycles. They will typically r run less than two hours over a normal 24 hour period. That's pretty tough. Um, Again, you just want to design a base and such that if you have a, a good working volume in there um, to make sure that you have good run times, um, not too long, but you don't want it so short that you just can't do anything about it.